Greetings, gamer guys and gals, and welcome back to part 16 of my Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. And welcome, 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 as I have said before, and I'll say it again. I am very excited that we are going on this journey, and very glad that we just got to the final point where we can say, you know what? We can purify Pokemon. Of course, we don't have all of our team purify, but we did purify Meganium and Slugma. And Quagsire, who is not in our party last game, uh, or last time. <clears throat> it was an exceptional time, and we did also defeat Dakin. We defeated Mount Battle, what little bit we have to do in the story mode. Um, like I said, there are some wonderful prizes that you can get from beating enough of Mount Battle. But, but be warned, be warned, it is tedious. It is time-consuming. It is probably the lowest part of both this and XD. It just is. It, it's as the lowest part. There's there is better qualities to these games, and Mount Battle is one of those things where uh, it's it's a low point in these games. And every game has its flaws. So that's just that's just reality. Um, there is a time flute that you can get from getting to the 100th floor. I do believe you have to beat the 100th floor. Don't quote me on that, but at least getting to the 100th floor, um, you can get a time flute. I mean, if you've already gone to the 100th floor, you, <laughs> you might as well complete it. Um, and then also, the Poke Coupons have just a lot of things you can get. Personally, I kind of want to beat several of the areas, and I might even do that, like... And, and throw it in one video at some point, maybe when I'm grinding or post-game or something. I, I'll probably do that post-game, in fact. Beat several of the areas so that I can get some of the TMs. Because the TMs, in my opinion, are the most worthwhile for in-game play. The other stuff is there just so that you can competitively battle. This game was designed around competitive battles for, for Gen 3. Is it as... I want to say all-inclusive as like sword and shield for instance no sword and shield are the best games in the series for if you want to have competitively viable teams but for gen 3 this is where it's at like the fact that you can get things like select berries and pataya berries and so on and so forth and the white herbs and the choice band and everything like that it's just wonderful but without further ado, we are going to go ahead and leave the Relic Forest and this, this Relic Stone. Uh, I would use the Time Flute to show forth Celebi's arrival and what he, what he does. But the, the fact of the matter is, is that I'm going to save it for later. The Time Flute just instantly purifies a Pokemon. You don't have to wor worry about the gauge or anything of that nature. And it's cool. You get three of them in the game. One of them's really hard to get, like, work for. The other two are really easy to get and pretty hard to pass up. So if you're okay with having one less time flute, you can skip it. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we must do. I believe I know exactly where we're supposed to go. We're going to go ahead and talk to Egan real, for, uh, real fast and um, see if that gives us any information. Well, thanks to you two, things are back to normal at Mount Battle. They should resume training there right away. Wes, even if it's just once, train at Mount Battle. I'm sure it will make you even stronger. Um, so Mount Battle is open to us, which is nice. It would be useful if one could summon Celebi whenever one desired, but that, of course, isn't possible. Luckily, as it is inscribed on the small tablet, the relic in the relic forest is imbued with Celebi's power. If a shadow Pokemon is ready to throw open its heart's door, you must visit the relic. Alright, so that's just further information about both Mount Battle and the Relic Stone's power and what you can do with it. Uh, we knew that, and we're a-okay. We're pretty well stocked for the rest of the game right now. Well, for, for the foreseeable, foreseeable future. Um, there is actually a place we are going to visit. 
um, coming up pretty soon that's going to give you items that are far and away better than you can buy than you can buy just pretty much any Pokemon in this game, in my humble opinion. So we're going to go to Pyrite Town. Why are we going there, might you ask? We have a special visit to make. And that special visit happens to be the headquarters, or the old headquarters, of Mirror B. <clears throat> All right, so the old headquarters of Mirror B. Too bad for you, this elevator is off limits. Chaser Kai would like to battle. Sent out Fampi and Vi Brava. Mantine and Umbreon. Let's get this party started. There's a lot of Vi Bravas and Trap Inches in this game. Let's go Bubble Beam and... Ah, confuse Rayon Fampi. That's a very awkward move. I mean, Gust is physical in this game because it is of the flying type, but it is kind of very awkward that that's, that's the move that your Vibrava knows. Chaser Kai. Confuse Ray. Let's get this party started with a little bit of confusion. Confuse Ray is an underrated move, especially because we have Secret Power. The Secret Power Confuse Ray combination is really great for the fact that you can paralyze while doing damage, and then you can use something like Confuse Ray to in well decrease the chances of your enemy Pokemon actually hitting you. And that's actually what we're going to do right here. Uh, you kind of want to do Secret Power first. I, I mean, if you're using this strategy... I'm kind of banking on the fact that we're going to paralyze the first hit, but usually you want to get a Pokemon paralyzed before you confuse it, because confusion just goes away, whereas paralysis doesn't go away without items or some kind of healing move. Umbreon grew to level 32. And look at his tankiness. 110 HP, 84 defense, and 96 special defense. Secret power. And let's see... And it paralyzed. How incredible. It's really funny that he still attacked and hit. I believe what it is is like it's a 25% chance that you won't move from paralysis and a 50% chance you won't move from confusion. That's why confusion doesn't last forever. Um, let's go ahead and use bite. We're going to KO Fampy anyway. Yeah. The only reason why we were even doing that was just to show just to show the validity validity of that. Umbreon is a tank, and tanks are supposed to have moves that make it annoying to deal with them. So that's the reason why I have that combination. This didn't happen. Yeah, I saw nothing. Don't worry. No matter what, this elevator is off limits. It's the elevator to the basement. The door is locked. We do not have the elevator key. Where do we get the elevator key? I wonder. That is a good question. Ah, it is luckily for you all that I know exactly where to find it. So what I can, am doing here, specifically, is showing you that you can actually go through, after you fight Dakim, and redo this whole dungeon. It's one way that you can recapture some of the Pokemon you might have missed out on. We are going to be redoing this dungeon. I'm going to be skipping through it, however, just throwing in some highlights and whatnot. Because the fact of the matter is, is we've already done this dungeon, and when we get to the important part of the dungeon, that's where it'll culminate into something very interesting. 
what do you think you're doing here? Welcome back, gamer guys and gals. I did skip over pretty much, well, I mean, I did skip over the entire um, headquarters and the caves of the dungeon again because we've already beaten these these folks. They don't, ha they don't have anything new to say. None of them have new shadow Pokemon. And even though some of them seem to have, like, better composition on their teams and their Pokemon are slightly higher level, it's the same old, same old. It really is. Um, it might be necessarily a controversial thing that I just skipped over it instead of showing it in an episode, but I figured we already went, th went through this dungeon. It has nothing new to offer except for the ending. Right back where Mirror B was hiding in his cave, we're going to find something very interesting and unique for this game. So without further ado, let us go on back and find out. What's this? A mirror bee look-alike? What in the world? Whatever could he be? Alright, let's go ahead and find out just exactly why this mirror bee look-alike is here. I'm Miracle Bee! I'm Mirror Bee's rightful successor! Going to get me an afro! Cypher Peon Miracle Bee would like to battle. Sent out Electrode and Linoon. And he's got quite the tough team. It's really funny that he's the successor to Mirror B, but his Pokemon are essentially better than Mirror B's, which is kind of really funny. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and confuse Linoon here. Oh, Light Screen. Very good move on your end, because I am using Reflect just for the same concepts. Alright, Headbutt. Yeah, it's going to do a whopping ton of damage. Ooh, Espeon flinched? Not good. I'm already seeing a not so good... I want to say outcome to this battle. Yeah... There is no way that Linoon isn't going to attack Espeon. But at least, you know, Electrode is paralyzed. Linoon is confused. Oh, come on. I was hoping for the confusion. All right. Well, I guess we don't get our Reflect this match. All right. So your Pokemon, even with all of the leveling that you have access to in this, in this area, just kind of don't... They don't have the levels to do it. Like, you would have to grind a little bit to be leveled enough to deal with Miracle B in in his level parameters. Alright, let's see if this paralyzes. Would be nice. Ah, Unfortunate. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and uh, Body Slam and Secret Power Linoon. He is actually our biggest threat right now. Linoon is a decent physical attacking normal type with stab on his headbutt so we want to paralyze him and get him out of the way or vice versa it doesn't matter we're just we're just trying to do our best all right secret power and body slam both have a 30 percent chance to paralyze here i'm pretty sure and we don't get any para paralysis so that's funny they're attacking meganium i mean i know meganium does have less less, like, defensive power than Umbreon, but that's kind of insane. Alright, Body Slam. Let's hope this actually KOs. Alright, it did. Uh, it was a critical hit, but I don't think it really mattered that it was a critical hit. We did need to get Linoon off this field, though. Alright, level 34. We also might end up using a revive on... Our friend there, Espeon. Alright, secret power. And it did nothing. Next to nothing. Alright, spark. And going after Meganium. We're going to have to heal up Meganium because Meganium is going to be kind of pretty pivotal and useful in this fight. So let's go ahead and use Razor Leaf and hope we don't get par par paralysis here because that would just be not good. 
Waterfall. And you're attacking Umbreon. It wouldn't actually have mattered who that Sea King had attacked. And at least we can't be paralyzed again. <laughs> Alright, Razor Leaf, do your job. Nothing to Electrode. We were kind of expecting that. Uh, the light screen needs to go down. Um, oh man, you know what? Okay, good, good. He's probably going to set up light screen again, which is unfortunate. Another reason why I would have loved to have Electrode off the field, but we don't have the physical damage to deal with him, really. I mean, we could swap out um, Umbreon for... <sighs> yeah, we could swap out Umbreon for Slugma, but because of Seeking, it's just not, it's not really viable. We're just going to have to deal with this. Alright, so at least we got a critical hit there. And next turn, we should definitely take care of Electrode. Seeking being a pain in the neck, but at least we did not flinch. Electrode is gone, thankfully. Thankfully. And just in time. Uh, as long as we don't have the unfortunate uh, aspect of not being able to move because of paralysis. Meganium is going to be able to attack both his Pokemon this turn. And it's a Sand Slash weak to it. Very nice. Ah. Expected. We're going to use a full heal here. And let's go ahead and use a Confuse Ray. Yeah, it's kind of likely that Umbreon's going to be taken out this turn. Yeah. Oh! Aerial Ace. Alright. Razor Leaf. Alright, did I pick... Yeah, I did pick Razor Leaf. And we'll go with... Um, Bite on Sand Slash? You know, this is, the the light screen being constantly up is is really hurting us right now. Really hurting us. This is probably the end of Umbreon. Oh, very close. Sand Slash confused. Yes, hit himself in confusion. Awesome. All right, so our best bet here, we're actually going to use a Hyper Potion here. And a super potion here. We're, we're quite a bit under leveled compared to his team, so I'm not so sad about using this. Plus, I, uh, as long as light screen is up, we are going to have a difficult time with this fight because almost all of his Pokemon are weak to special moves. And that's why he has light screen on his team. It's pretty good. In that aspect, that he has at least somewhat of a of, of a decent strategy, especially considering like he's supposed to be Mirror B's successor, but I actually think he's kind of better than Mirror B. Avoided the attack. How unfortunate. Yeah, Meganium might just be gone next uh, next round or this round actually. Snapped out of confusion. That's unfortunate. Ooh. Very nice. Alright, cool. Let's use Razor Leaf. And... One more Hyper Potion. Yeah, I'm not 100% against using um, potions or items in battles, especially when you're at a severe disadvantage. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say five levels is an extremely severe disadvantage, but we don't really have any answers to his team besides our Pokemon that we have currently. Um, so, yep, let's go ahead and just use Bite and Razor Leaf. 
much more damage. You can see, like, Razor Leaf is actually not that terrible of a move. It looks kind of terrible. It's, it's kind of... It's kind of... It's getting a bad rap. Wow. Is that taking out both my Pokemon? <laughs> Meganium, you are gone. See, this is just payback. Oh, Umbreon is gone too! Pseudo Wudo faints. I don't think any of my Pokemon. Yeah. My dreams! You've ruined my dreams of getting an afro! I don't see how us beating you ruins that, though. <laughs> None of our Pokemon got that experience points. That's incredible. Darn! I don't care if it, and no one agrees. I'm still the rightful heir to Mirror B. Even though my hair hasn't grown to a full afro, do. Very interesting. So, Miracle B is a hidden boss fight. And he's at the end where you would fight Mirror B. It's funny that, uh, you know, I didn't catch the pseudo wudo Mirror B has, and then he also has a pseudo wudo, like he's trying to mimic Mirror B, but he actually has a harder team. As you saw there, if my team had been competently the same level, I wouldn't have had as much struggles with the fight, but still, it, it's one of those things where he's just... He is a powerful trainer. He is actually a pretty difficult trainer at, for this point in, in the game. So it's it's pretty cool. Uh, um, one of the things that this game is trying to uh, emphasize, though, especially with your conversation with Bella, is yes, you absolutely want to um, go to Mount Battle and do a little bit of grinding if you feel like you are not high enough level because I beat almost every single trainer in this cave. There's probably like three or four trainers that I decided to skip because they were optional. It wouldn't have mattered much because I was only getting like 100 or 200 experience points per trainer, uh, per Pokemon I knocked out in each trainer battle. But still, the fact remains that I, I'm still at a level disadvantage. That's something to consider. I might end up going ahead and fighting most of the trainers I skipped be, uh, on my way out just because of the fact that I know there are battles coming up where I know I'm going to be severely disadvantaged in level. That's something definitely you should consider. Um, if you are playing this along with me, or if you're playing this at all, future, whatsoever, this game is actually really hard. It's it's not like a typical Pokemon game. It really is not. Uh, typical Pokemon has been easy since Gen 1. I don't care what anybody says. The only thing that made those games harder, quote-unquote, is nonsense mechanics, glitches, and uh, issues with coding. Those aren't legitimate reason ways that they made the game hard. It's not like they said, well, this is how we're making the game harder. We're going to program it bad. All right, so... I will see you guys back in just a few. I'm going to go ahead and leave the cave and get back out of the headquarters and show you what we have to do next, actually. All right, I'm back, gamer guys and gals. Let us go ahead and find exactly what we need to move on in this story. So there was some foreshadowing exactly as to where we had to go a long time ago in the story. Um, basically when we first came to Pyrite, and it is in the jail. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, Chief, There, but there's big news. You see, Chief, there's talk that there's a mysterious syndicate poised to take over the world. Huh? Chief? You're not the Chief. I beg your pardon. I'm here, Johnson. That story isn't new. Why are all your reports so out of date all the time? Oh, Oh, Chief! There you are! You're such a kidder! Ha 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 Okay. Such a kidder. Let's go ahead and grab that. West found one jail key. We're going to go ahead and use that jail key. Immediately. Yeah, don't be too proud that you managed to beat Mirror B. 
they'll make you pay for that. Here's food for your thoughts. Within the organization, Mira B was the lowest ranked of the bosses. There are other bosses who are a lot better and scarier than Mira B. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you. We'll take that to uh, consideration. Very, very, um, I want to say irresponsible of these so-called jailers and policemen to leave a jail key around. Hey, what? Oh, wow, thanks. You're letting us loose? Hey, I don't know or care who you are, but thanks. See you. Little scripted moment there. And we have another item. Westbound 1 TM46. Alright, so that is. Thief. Um, not that great of a move, especially in Coliseum. It doesn't have any of its side effects, per se. Oh, Rui, you're locked up. Rui! Oh no! <laughs> She's going to stay locked up, too. I reckon that Mirror B was sent by that mystery organization in the first place. If my guess is true, there ought to be more of his kind. If I hear anything on my end, I'll surely let you know. You're Wes, right? What's your PDA number? Wes gave the PDA number to Sheryl's. Okay, got it. Take care. I wonder what exactly this mysterious syndicate is. Oh, if I knew that, then it wouldn't be much of a mystery, now would it? Ha 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 Very intriguing. So we've had quite a bit of information gathering, and we got ourselves a new TM. But where exactly is our next step? Hmm. Alright, let's head out and find out. The story will progress, some way, some form. Is it that I know what we're doing, or do I not know what we're doing? A mystery lab. Hmm. Very intriguing. Let's go ahead to that mystery lab. Oh, we've got a message on our PDA. Mirror B peon or Mirror Peon nabbed. Chief Sheryls. Wes, it's Sheryls. We've just apprehended a pair of thugs we believe to be Mirror B's underlings. We may be able to find a lien on them for information. We have them locked up. Uh, so, uh, so hurry over to Pyrite. All right, so we are going to do just that. We actually can't get into this mystery lab. You just have to go here in order to start the event, per se. Um, we've got a hidden, hidden item over here, so let's... If, uh... Yep, open up. Found three revives, that's very nice. And I believe that's all. There is actually another item over here, but it is in the inside of the gate, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, let's go ahead and rush on out. Um, we're going to visit Agate Village first. We have a couple of things we want to do there. Pokemart. Such a beautiful village. Lovely homes. I would love to live in Agate Village. I think this is a very underrated and beautiful site. I came to this village so I could learn more about becoming closer to Pokemon. All I know is the cologne massage met method for making Pokemon friendly. Do you know about cologne massages? Yes. Yup, all Pokemon love being treated to cologne massages. You're supposed to say no. <laughs> nope. 
Pokemon get very happy if you massage them with different kinds of scents. Actually, I have an extra cologne case with me. You can have it. After you beat Dakim, you can get this. You do not have to beat Miracle B first. Put a scent in the cologne case and give your Pokemon a massage. I'm sure that it will be delighted. All right, cool. So we actually finally have the cologne case. And we are going to go back here because we have a Pokemon that can be uh, purified. We might actually have two. I, I wonder, is my Swablu close? In summary... Oh yeah, Swablu and Mantine. So we have two. We're going to go ahead and do just that. Mantine. Mantine opened the door to its heart and regained the move Wing Attack, which I'm pretty sure is Mantine's only flying type move that he learns in this gen besides actual fly, but I'm not sure if he learns fly, so don't quote me on that. Was elevated to level 34. 35. And obtained a Rimmon. No, we're not going to nickname Mantine. And we have one more Pokemon to do. Swablu should actually gain a bunch of levels because we have the experience share on Swablu. Hopefully. Maybe even evolving, but I can't remember exactly when Swablu evolves. Mirror move. 34. 35. 36. 37. 38. 39. And Swablu is evolving. So this is fantastic because Swablu is a passable so-so normal flying type. And then Swablu turns into a pretty good dragon flying type, Altaria. Congratulations, your Swablu evolved into Altaria. Fantastic. Obtained a ribbon. No nickname for you. It's actually funny. Swablu or an, an Altaria does just have terrible moves. Just terrible moves. So mirror move. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, counters an attack with the same move. Uh, sing, safeguard, and fly. So fly is the only move on this Pokemon that's actually good in a way. You know, like... That's pretty nuts. Hopefully we... I think we get Dragon Breath pretty soon. I want to say around like level 40 or 41. Um, so there's that to look forward to. We're going to actually go through the summary. Um, make everything a little bit neater. Uh, let's see. Take down Supersonic. Fly, mirror, move. Definitely going to put that down there. There we go. I like things being pretty darn... Um, like, organized, I guess, if you will. Alright, cool. Now, we need to leave Agate Village. And find ourselves back in Pyrite. I'll meet you back there, folks. Here we are, back again in Pyrite. Let us go ahead back to the police station. And see just what we are needing to do here. Alright, so... We've got a bunch of new inmates. And... We were co uh collared when we try to sneak back down to the under. It's just another thing that goes with this. That and everything else you caused. It's all your fault. And there's a girl sleeping here. Mm -hmm. Elevator going down. 
There's a key of some sort on her belt. Want to take it? Of course we do! Wes obtained the elevator key. Awesome. We have new inmates. Interesting. The door is locked. Let's use the jail key here. They said there'd be some new prisoner, so they split me and Folly up. But you know, the guys in the next cell, those voices sound familiar. Huh? You went and checked out the lab? <laughs> what could it be? I don't have a clue about what's going on at that lab. Listen, listen, Chief Sherrills and I, we caught two more suspects. They came back to that creaky old building and we nabbed them on the spot. <laughs> Good job, Johnson. Hmm, those suspects we arrested haven't spilled any beans. Not a thing. I reckon they're afraid of payback from their organization. I'll be in touch with you with just as soon as I hear anything. Uh, we already have our means and method to do what's next in this story. So, it's funny too because, uh, you know, we as the protagonist, we have this uh, a bit of information that obviously ah, Chief Sherrills and his flunky Johnson do not have. Um, well, you know, I would love to say that we're going to go ahead and use that ele elevator key, but let's go ahead and save that for next time on Pokemon Coliseum. We're going to check out the headquarters, or the used-to-be headquarters of Mirror B, and the Cypher organization, or this hidden organization, and see exactly what that elevator key is for. Join me then. I'll see ya.